Hello guys, welcome to Ramtel Solutions. Today we're looking at the last video on differentiation calculus. Okay, so today as we look on the application, I the optimization, the example says given that area is 462. First question, express height H in terms of pi and R, R which is a radius. And then number B, find the values of R for which the volume is a maximum. So for the volume to be a maximum, you will need to find a derivative of the, vo of the volume. Okay? You will need to find a derivative of the volume. So without any waste of time, let's get into the question. So... What we have, we have area, and this is a cylinder. A cylinder is a shape. Remember, guys, you are not given a formula. So when you are not given a formula, you need to know this. I can't really say by heart, but you can somehow derive the area of the cylinder. It is made up of two circles, as you can see, one at the top and one at the bottom. So you can say it's two circles, so the areas are 2 pi r squared. Plus, <clears throat> the central part will be height times the circumference of the circle. So you can say it's 2 pi r h. And that will be the surface area of your cylinder. Okay? That will be your surface area of your cylinder. In case you get confused, this is how you get to derive it. This is R. And also this one is R. And as you can see, this part here is H. Now, to get a cylinder, this length here has to roll across the circumference of the circle. This is why you have 2 pi R, which is the circumference, right, times H. Because this looks like a rectangle. Right? Because this looks like a rectangle. Okay. Perfect. So, they said area equals 462 square meters. Now, the first question says, express the height in terms of pi and r. So, we have 462. 462 equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So, we can say this is... 462 minus 200 and your know, 2 pi r squared equals 2 pi r h right so you can divide by h throughout 462 divided by that you can divide by 2 pi r so if you divide by 2 pi r you might have something like this um 231 over pi r minus r equals h all right if you divide by 2 pi r so maybe someone will be confused by this let me just show you what i meant i meant <clears throat> i meant you'll be saying dividing by 2 pi r 2 pi r, 2 pi r. You have 200 and 231 over pi r minus r equals h. All right? So you have found, or rather we have found h. So we have found h in terms of r and pi. Can you see that? Perfect. So we are done. Now they say find the values of A for which volume is a maximum or a maximum. Now number B, we know that volume of a 3D shape is basically area of the base multiplied by the height. The base obviously in this shape, the base is a circle. This is why I said pi r squared times height. Okay. Now, what is this volume? We know we found that H is 
231 over pi r, 231 over pi r minus r, right, minus r. So this leads to, we have 231r, yeah, 231r, 231r minus pi r cubed, right? Minus pi r cubed. Now, the question I see, we must find the values of r for which the radius is the maximum, or is a maximum. So, <clears throat> we will need to find v prime, or if you don't want to say v prime, you can say the value of the r. Alright? What is the v, the r? It is 2, 3, 1, minus 3 pi r squared. Right? 2, 3, 1, minus pi r squared. Okay? Minus pi r squared. Okay? Perfect. Now, we then equate um, this dv dr to 0. So 0 equals 2, 3, 1 minus 3 pi r squared. Okay? 3 pi r squared. So let's get to... Let's go to the next page where we will say 3 pi r squared equals... 231 equals 231 and therefore this looks like r squared equals 231 over 3 pi so we can say r equals plus minus 231 over 3 pi all right 231 over 3 pi all right so I think I, sh I should have just simplified this. I should have simplified this. This is... This is 77 over pi. Right? Now, r equals plus minus square root of 77 over pi. Let's read the question. The question said we must find the values of r for which the volume is the maximum. Right, so we finding r equals plus minus, so r cannot be a negative. So we can say, therefore, right, we can say, therefore, r equals square root of 77 over pi units. All right, oh, units, oh no, 70 centimeters. Yes, it's. 77 point nah let me just get that 77 over pi is basically square root of 77 over pi so we're saying r equals for 4.95 centimeters okay r equals 4.95 yeah 4.95 centimeters so this is the radius that makes the volume to be a maximum. Okay. This is the radius that makes the volume to be a maximum. All right, guys. So this is it with regard to this topic. Um, I will see you next time and I hope you make the best out of this. So bye-bye.